The first step we want to take is shutting off our cold water supply. You will notice the cold water supply is off when the pressure gauge reaches zero. So now that I've got my water source turned off, I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage my dual inline TDS meter from AquaFX. I can peel off the Velcro sticker on the back of the TDS meter to mount it to the front of our Barracuda bracket. I'm now gonna go ahead and install the Quick Connect T's onto the probe. I like to leave the straight run for the quarter inch RO tubing so we can get as accurate of a reading as possible. Now for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and cut the RO product line out of the membrane. This is the line that feeds into the DI. We're gonna go ahead and install one of our probes on the RO product line out. We have selected the out probe, which is also blue. We are now going to cut the final product line or our RODI water out of the system so we can measure its water quality. We have now successfully completed the installation of a dual TDS meter onto our RODI system. We can clean up some of the wires just to keep them out of the way, but overall we are now ready to monitor the post RO water and RODI water. Be careful as your RO water will not show zero. So when reading the probe, make sure you are looking at the correct probe for the water quality that you are trying to achieve. I'm now gonna turn my RODI system back on and go ahead and look at some of the values that we're getting through the system. It's normal for me to see a zero because we're not passing water through the system. So I've opened my cold water valve and I can see my pressure is building. And I've got my red probe on my final output water and I've got my blue probe on my RO water. So switching over to the blue probe, so we can see a high value at first of 29 parts per million. This value is quickly dropping. This is the phenomenon known as TDS creep. And this is the reason we don't want our RODI systems turning off and on all day long as it will chew up our DI resin. But after maybe 10 seconds, we're down to about 12, 11 parts per million. And I know from experience that we'll probably reach somewhere around eight parts per million out of the RO membrane, which is perfect. And now that we've got the water going into our DI, or rather exiting our DI canister, I'm gonna switch the probe over to the red probe, which is exiting the system. And I see zero parts per million. So again, we've got our incoming tap water that we know to be around 160 parts per million. We're leaving our membrane right now at about eight parts per million, and we're exiting the whole system at zero parts per million, which is absolutely perfect for making our top off water or water changes and adding salt. Thank you guys for joining us again.